I said I'd be back with this team, and here we are. Today's battle is against someone named Chris, who actually beat me a couple months ago with his rain team, so today we are out for blood. His team's pretty balanced, some good offensive threats as well as some good defensive walls. I'm going in with my Panini because it's just pressing everything with body press, along with my Iron Moth, Chandelure, a couple other favorites. Ogre Pond has been a very prominent force to be reckoned with in OU. Definitely can't underestimate that there, but we're going to jump right in because this battle is very, very fun and has a lot of layers to it, so let's just get right to it. He's going to send in the dead Tumbleweed as I lead off with my Tinkerbell. I want to go for the Sticky Webs here. I want to abuse the crap out of that. That's the point of this team. But with the Cinderace in the back, I can't do that. I don't have a Spinner or a Defogger. I've been court changed before on Showdown with Sticky Webs, and it does not look good for my team. So I end up going for the Bug Buzz. It does a ton as he fires back with Poltergeist, hitting me down to my Sash. And I'm in a, a pretty tricky situation here. I could stay in, sometimes Brambles go for Shadow Sneak, but they also have access to Spikes too. So if he does go for Spikes, I can't switch Rabambi back in. So I just go for Bug Buzz and he ends up not going for Shadow Sneak and I take this thing out right away. Very happy about that, Brambles are a little bit of a slept on threat, they're kind of unpredictable, and using it as a lead you don't know what they're going to do. So now he's going to go into Cinderace as expected. He could U-turn here, which is most likely the case. He could also Pyro Ball. I'd rather keep Tinkerbell in my back pocket just in case I'm able to take down Cinderace at some point in this game. Now I'm going to switch into my Sia as it's swinging from the Chandelier. Or the Chandelier. Horrible joke. Uh, I want to activate the Flash Fire just in case he decides to go for Pyro Ball, and he's going to U-turn, which is the smart play. So good on him, because now we can switch into whatever he wants. Probably going to be the Samurott, which has full reign to go for whatever it needs to uh, go for, whether it's Razor Shell or Ceaseless Edge. He'll probably Ceaseless Edge just to get the spikes up. Either way, I gotta run because this is a bad matchup for me. And uh, the best move going forward really is the Zamazenta. I'm gonna just bring in my dog because this thing is so beefy that it just puts everything to shame. Such a huge threat. I'm so surprised that it's allowed in OU, but... Uh, if it's if it's legal, I'm going to use it, and uh, it's a huge defensive threat, so might as well. He's actually going to Sucker Punch here, and uh, that's fine, because I don't take any damage at all, and I get the defense boost. So I'm predicting here that he's going to switch into his Starbucks Matcha here, so I just click Crunch. And thankfully, I'm right about that. I'm going to take a bite out of this cup, and it's going to do about a fourth, a fifth of damage. Not a whole lot, but I do get the defense drop. Now, this is a little risky situation to be in. Sinistra just bodied that crunch. It's at minus one. I could go for another one, which I'm going to do just to see, but it has access to moves like Scald, Machigacha, Strength Sap, so I could be putting myself at a disadvantage. He's now going to Terra, and obviously not looking good for me. It's Terra Fairy, but not the end of the world, because this Zama might be your average Zama from, from first glance, but I promise you it's not. I go for Crunch, it doesn't do anything of course, he's gonna Matcha Gacha, I just need to cross my fingers that I don't get burned, thankfully I don't, and now it's time to show the world why Duncan is better than Starbucks, that's actually a blatant lie, but regardless, I, I really hate Matcha, so we're gonna put an end to this cup of dirt, and you'll see why in just a second, because this is not your average Zama, I'm going to click Terra Steel here and go for the Heavy Slam, probably my favorite change that I have made on the Zamazenta set, I used to run Stone Edge, from mons like Moltres and Zapdos, but making this change to Heavy Slam actually really counters back mons like Iron Valiant, and when, uh, you know, in situations like this when your opponent decides to go Terra Fairy. Heavy Slam's gonna come through, and we're going to pour this matcha down the drain. Zamazenta came through in an unimaginable way. I actually, you know what, whenever there are UU mons in OU teams, I'm more afraid of those mons because you never know what they're capable of, and Sinistra has access to so many different things that can just cripple your team. Uh, it was a huge threat, it had to go. Cinderace comes out now, no surprise there, and quite honestly, I'm not afraid of this thing at all. Yeah, it has Pyro Ball, but I'm faster and I can set up another Iron Defense if I want. I'm already at plus one, and being at plus three puts me at a huge advantage. Pyro Ball, I don't even think would be a two-hit KO. So I'd rather do that so I can strengthen my body presses and, uh, you know, I want to see how, how far I can take this Zamazenta at this point. I, so I go for the Iron Defense, and he is going to actually go for the will o -Wisp here, which really puts a damper on things, unfortunately. My body presses are not going to hit as hard. 
and that's really not good if there's a Galarian Slowking and a uh, Gliscor in the back, so kind of got to think carefully here moving forward. I can always Iron Defense up just to get my damage up a little bit more on the body press. Heavy Slam and Crunch won't do as much though, unfortunately. Here, I just decide to go for body press just to kind of gauge my damage, and it's going to be 2 hit KO still despite the burn. He goes for Pyro Ball, and look at how little that does. I eat that up no problem. This is why Zama is actually a huge problem in OU, uh, but it's still somehow legal. Um, there are a lot of ways around it though, um, not gonna lie. It's just really, really good if you start snowballing with it. But because I am burned, it's just not going to be good in the long run. So yeah, he does make the switch into Gliscor to hard counter my body press. It still does a tiny chunk. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be sustainable because Gliscor does have the Toxic Orb, um, as most Gliscors do. So I'm gonna have to run here. Uh, unfortunately, Zama isn't going to be uh, as useful now that it's burned, but it did put in work. I got rid of its terror right away. So I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to go into my um, Tinkerbell's Death Fodder just in case he decides to attack here. He reveals that he's actually a Swords Dance Gliscor. Uh, kind of interesting. I don't really see those a whole lot, but they can be very, very threatening if paired with agility. So I have to act quickly. I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast now and hopefully it does a ton and it ends up doing a huge chunk of damage. This little, like, mosquito literally just annihilated this Gliscor, so I'm not worried about this at all because even if he is max speed, I have other mons that do outspeed it, so now it's just time to bring in Ogre Pond. I could also go into my Iron Moth, but I just figured with the Hisuian Samurott there, I'd rather just go into Ogre Pond because I have Water Absorb. And now all that's really left for me to do with this is really just click Ivy Cudgel mindlessly at this point, and it's naturally going to take out the Gliscor, that's a given. Ogre Pond's gonna pretty much put in work now. There's only a Slowking, Cinderace, and a Hisuian Samurott, so it's looking good, but the Cinderace and the Samurott could still do quite a bit of damage. He goes into Cinderace now, and that tells me he's looking to kind of slow my momentum, because he wouldn't just go to Cinderace right away. He's probably going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, and because I do have Sword Stance, I'm thinking that's maybe my best bet at this point, just to kind of even it out. He is faster, so he can hit me with whatever he wants. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp, it is going to hit, and um, Sword Stance will kind of... I think, yeah, I think Sword Stance does pretty much even out a Will-O-Wisp. So now I'm kind of back to where I, where I need to be. He can't further lower my attack, so he's going to have to hit me now problem, I definitely take Pyro Ball or U-Turn to the face just fine. I'm just going to go for Ivy Cudgel at this point because it's going to do a ton of damage regardless to whatever comes in. Or if he decides to stay in with Cinderace, that too. Cinderace does stay in, but he actually misses the Pyro Ball. A little unfortunate there. I go for Ivy Cudgel. It does finish off Cinderace. I would have been able to survive it, no problem. So, you know, that's not really a question of if I held on or not, but... It does suck because he doesn't he doesn't weaken me here. Now he's gonna bring in Samurott, and if it has Focus Sash, he pretty much could end me off here. I mean, if he has like Sacred Sword or Ceaseless Edge, it'll probably do a ton. Um, I'm gonna click Play Rough, and it's gonna come through and do a ton of damage. And he's gonna go for the Ceaseless Edge, and unfortunately that misses too. Quite honestly, if he had taken me down between the Pyro Ball and the Samurott, it really wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I do have my choice spec Chandelure, which is a two hit guaranteed KO on the uh, Galarian Slowking. I have my Iron Moth, which would have outsped the Samurott. Uh, I have Dazzling Gleam on it and also Fiery Dance. So it would have been just fine regardless. Uh, so that's pretty much game. It just sucks because he didn't take down the Ogre Pond, but I don't think it mattered. But yeah, now he's just going to go on to Slowking here. Again, just going to click uh, Ivy Cudgel. See how much it does. It should do... yeah, it's gonna be a 2 KO. As he goes for Future Sight, he does not have an attacking move like Sludge Bomb. So that's gonna be game there, so... Chris, it's been a pleasure battling you yet again. You're a talented battler, you make great teams, and uh, hopefully we can battle again some other time. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up, you can subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will see you all on the next one.